Welcome to the Proverbs 31 Ministries Morning Show. My name is Maddie Vincent, and I'm here with a dear friend and my co-host for the first time, Jasmine Groma. Hi, Jasmine. Hello. Thank you for having me, Maddie. I'm so excited. I am so thrilled that you're on the morning show. You guys, <laughs> Jasmine has been on staff for quite a while, but this mm -hmm. is her first time hosting the Proverbs Morning Show. So, Jazz, before we kind of get started, will you tell everybody three things about yourself? Yes. Okay. So I love fun facts. So here are three fun facts about me. Okay. One, I am born and raised in Charlotte, North Carolina. A, a true so, unicorn. This is a unicorn. We were looking at some of the comments of where you guys are from, but I am born and raised here. Um, and it is unusual. <laughs> Everyone that has moved here has either moved here from somewhere else or, you know, has left. Has left. <laughs> so, um, number two, I love watching Netflix documentaries. If you are ever asking me what I've been watching lately, it's always going to be a documentary. So, um, does anyone else like documentaries? Leave a comment. Let us yes, know. let us know. And let us know which documentaries you like true crime. <laughs> Uh, like reality TV, what type of documentary, memoirs, what type of documentaries do you guys like? Um, and then lastly, I have a younger sister named Gabby. She is my best friend and our goal has been to go on an annual sister trip every year. So we just started this year. We went to Charleston, South Carolina. It was so much fun. We had some good food. We had, uh, we went to the beach um, we just it's walked so around, just enjoyed the temperature. It was really nice. So we loved it and we hope to have many more trips. Okay, Jasmine doesn't know this, but one of my personal goals is to get invited to a sister <laughs> trip with her and Gabby because I had so much FOMO when they were in oh, Charleston. Wow. <laughs> um, tag along in the next one. Okay, thank you for your bit. Uh, Jazz, we're just so glad that you're here. We're glad that you're on staff. And yeah. you guys, if you... Um, We'll give Jazz a warm welcome in the comments. I know that she would really appreciate it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, well, Maddie, now that they know a little bit about me, what about you? What are some facts we should know about Maddie Benson? Oh man. Okay. Well, for starters, in high school, I collected garden gnomes. Oh, that's very interesting. I know. I'm a weird girl. Uh, my favorite food are sandwiches. Yes, we can confirm. Maddie loves a good sandwich. I love a good sandwich. <laughs> uh, recently, I really loved this roast beef sandwich. Mm -hmm. So good. Um, it has like a garlic aioli. Ooh, aioli is yeah. just a fancy mayonnaise. We love. I love mayonnaise. <laughs> mayonnaise, I feel like it's kind of a like a yeah, it's a divided, a, like divided, <laughs> unpopular opinion. Either yeah. people love it or they, hate, they it. hate it. I love. <laughs> um and the third fun fact about me is I oh I don't know I'm trying to think my third fun fact is well I just bought a living room rug on a whim Ooh, yes. so like literally 20 minutes ago <laughs> I told Jasmine and Ashley our other coworker that's here that I really liked this rug that we have in the Proverbs 31 office oh and so I bought it <laughs> so I bought it online um <laughs> anyways okay let's see i want to know fun facts about you guys yeah. so if you will answer this question for us people who know me know that i love dot 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 them mm -hmm. dot 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 we want to know what you guys love yes it's i'm so seeing fun. some comments right now it looks like someone also denise loves watching documentaries she loves history documentaries oh a history documentary yes. that makes me think of my dad growing up and him making me watch the history channel oh my gosh well so much fun yeah keep dropping you guys' comments in there we want to know some fun facts about you um but now that we are on our you know on this question it's fun together, to ask people questions yeah. i love um, having a good list of questions so jazz do you want to keep this going and maybe yes. just ask each other some questions yes i would love that all right so I'm gonna maybe turn it and make it a little bit deeper. Okay. Um, Jazz, what what are you reading in God's Word right now, and what is He teaching you? Yes, I love this question actually because I have been listening to Scripture. I have been on an audio Bible kick. I love the narration. I love the drama. I love the music. Um, and so I've actually been listening to Scripture. And where I'm parked at right now is the Book of Judges. Ooh. Yeah. We're um, going through Judges in our first five hours. Yes, we are. And so, you know, I know that sometimes the Old Testament can seem a little scary. Right now, I'm learning about how the Israelites are going through these cycles of where they, 
you know, are good with God for a little bit and then they sin and then they feel trapped in that sin. Then they cry out to God and then God sends a judge um, to deliver them. And I'm learning a lot about how God is continuously fighting for us. Um, no matter where we're at, no matter how many times we fail, even sometimes when we reject him, he is still constant in fighting for his people and those who love him. And so I think that's what God is teaching me right now, that he is always going to be fighting on my behalf and the behalf of those who love them. Love him. Wow. I love that. I think I sometimes really shy away from the Old Testament because yeah. I think it's too complicated to understand or to unapplicable to my life so yeah. I need to even like get anything out of it but how true is it that and comforting is it that the Lord comes and rescues us day after day continuously that's amazing yeah so good yeah well what about you Maddie where are you reading right now okay well I have been doing the fighting word study with our online bible study mm -hmm. friends which has been so fun because you wake up and you read like a little bit but I did just go on a deep dive in the book of numbers mm. which you guys the book of numbers <laughs> not something I ever really was interested in yeah. reading I truly <laughs> thought the book of numbers was a list of names and like numbers of tribes of Israel I didn't know that there was like actually um like a story yeah so news to me um but I thought it was really interesting to just read about the Israelites experience like wandering in the desert in this season of waiting and just how much they missed the way the Lord was providing for them in their season of waiting and how they were just so frustrated yeah. and complaining about it. Mm -hmm. And I think that that is so interesting because it's so applicable to my life right yeah. now, just being in seasons of waiting and just wanting the Lord to intervene and then him feeling like he's not but then I'm missing the ways that he is yeah. in the process and so that's where I have been recently um okay here's another question mm -hmm. uh is there anything that you feel like God is asking you to do right now Ooh, this is a really good question um I like I mentioned I've been loving the audio bible I've been loving listening to it but since I've started my full-time job and working at a ministry I felt like you know, how could I be listening to the audio Bible when I used to have this really structured, quiet time routine of reading my physical Bible and getting in the word for like hours and journaling. And now my life doesn't allow me that much free time. Um, and so I felt like um, God has really asked me to let go of some of that structure and that perfectionism and really allow myself to experience and encounter him in new ways and creative ways and that that's still valuable to him that I make time and prioritize that time to spend with him even if it looks a little bit different so I feel like God has been asking me to kind of let go of that structure a little bit um, and I've been really enjoying it wow what a great lesson yeah I feel like I just learned so much from what you were just <laughs> saying that was awesome thank you for sharing yeah I think for me the Lord has really been teaching me in the season of waiting I have two choices. I could either become really bitter and frustrated and resentful, mm -hmm. or I can lean into what the Lord is doing and let him really transform my character. So that's kind of where I have been with the Lord yeah. recently. Um, you guys were reading comments. It is so special to see all of you guys praying um, for Bethany in the comments. That is so cool. Um, and it's so fun to see how what you guys love that is really special so thank you for commenting and sharing um okay this is a question that i think is gonna be a little bit real mm -hmm. and maybe um personal jazz but i hope you're up for it yes i'm ready <laughs> um jazz what keeps you from feeling close to the lord okay so this is a confession i have it's definitely being lazy laziness that stops me. Um, and it's, it usually starts slow. It's usually, oh, I'll push it back five minutes or, oh, you know, I just want to sleep in, hit my alarm one more time. And then slowly but surely my laziness grows and I've pushed reading and reading the word or listening to the word back a few days, a few weeks. And so laziness has definitely been an obstacle for me. Um, but one thing that really reels me back in is just putting on some worship music 
whether it be in my car or whether I'm on a walk, I think it just shifts my heart perspective to get in the presence of God, to ask him to show me his presence in my life. Um, and so I've really been enjoying that, but laziness is definitely something that's an obstacle for me. Yeah. I mean, I totally relate. If you guys want to leave a comment and tell us kind of what you feel like your obstacle for is, um, we'd love to hear what your thoughts are. But for me, I relate to the laziness and I also relate to this idea of like, I just don't have enough time in the day yeah. I just don't have enough space I'm so busy I have so much going on um and I think it's just that I don't prioritize it I yeah. have misplaced priorities I'd rather do so many other things than spend time with the Lord that's real which is crazy because my life is so much better and my days are so much fuller mm -hmm. when I'm walking in like the beauty that I know that the Lord gives me and I'm yeah. walking in the peace and comfort that he gives me. But so often I forget that. Yeah. And I don't, I don't want to spend time with him. I don't want to give him the time that yeah. it takes to do it. Mm -hmm. So, real. well, I'm reading some of your comments and it looks like some people said definitely making it a priority has been a struggle. Um, Let's see, being lazy, you guys agree with that? Patience. Um, really awesome. So many, so many amazing things that, you know, we all struggle with those things. Yeah. Um, well, I think that it's important to recognize that there are times when we aren't close to the Lord the way that we wish we were. And there's simple things that we can do to kind of help, right? Mm -hmm. So one of the things is we can ask the Lord to put our attention back on him, yeah. right? We can literally pray. Um, if you guys have ever read a Psalm, like so many Psalms are truly just like gut-wrenchingly honest yeah. about people's feelings towards the Lord. And I think we can be that gut-wrenchingly honest with the Lord and we can ask him like, hey, but I don't feel like spending time with you. Will you yeah. please help me? Will you please like put my attention back on you? That's mm -hmm. a really good place to start. Yeah. Um, another great place to start is allowing ourselves to know what moved us away from the Lord. Cause mm -hmm. here's the thing, the Lord didn't move from us. We moved from him. And so maybe the things that have helped us or have made us move away from the Lord are like silly. Like mm -hmm. they're really easy things yeah. that we can fix, like social media mm -hmm. that's keeping me distracted and moving away from the Lord or TV or over committing anything like that. Yeah. Those are things that we can find solutions for really quickly. Like maybe we put our phone in another room when we pray. Maybe we put our phone across the room in the morning so yeah. that we wake up and read the Bible before we start scrolling on Instagram. There's so many options to kind of overcome those obstacles, but other things that make us move away from the Lord are even harder. Yeah. Um, I lost my mom about seven years ago and something that I remember thinking so vividly in that season was I felt frustrated I felt like the Lord stole something from me I felt like he was writing a story that I didn't want I felt angry that he didn't heal her she was very yeah. sick and I felt so upset with the Lord that he didn't just heal her mm -hmm. and like miraculously like help her stay alive but I also simultaneously knew that in that season of grief where I needed to find comfort and peace was through him and his word and intimacy yeah. and spending time with him. And that happens in so many different ways, right? I, it could be a death of a loved one. Yeah. It could be a huge disappointment. It could be so many different things. And my challenge to you and where I would love for you to really consider is what if you just were honest with the Lord about yeah. your frustrations and how would that change the way that you talk to him and change your intimacy? Um, I think that would be like incredible into your ways of just like moving closer to him. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything else to add, Jess? Yeah, that was so good, Maddie. Thank you for sharing that. 
Um, and so lastly, it might sound simple and might even sound silly, but just keep trying and showing up. Um, it's like any other relationship that you value or you prioritize. You keep showing up, you keep pouring into that relationship. Um, and it won't always feel like butterflies or rainbows, um, but keep showing up in be because you love that person um, and you love the Lord. We love the Lord and we know all the blessings that being with him um, brings. And so before we go, I just want to read this verse for us. Um, it comes from John 15 verses four through five. And it says, abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself, unless it abides in the vine, neither can you, unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. Wow, I think that's so good. I think just like a great kind of visual to that verse is, um, we don't throw our phones away when they die. Yeah. We like instinctively know like my phone died. I need to connect it to the power source. And as soon as I connect it to the power source, it's going to get charged up and filled up and it will start working again. And our lives and our relationship with Christ are a little bit similar to that, right? We wonder thing. We wonder why our lives aren't filled with peace or wisdom or power. And yet we haven't been regularly plugging into that power source. Mm -hmm. So our encouragement for you today is it is so normal. Yeah. Like we have been where you are. Mm -hmm. We know what it's like to not want to be intimate with the Lord. We know what it's like to not want to read his word. And that's okay. It's like okay to normalize those feelings. Yeah. But also don't stop because you feel that way. And I hope that these kind of ideas and solutions will really help you. I'm really grateful for Proverbs 31, right? Because there's yeah. so many options to get into God's word mm -hmm. in such an accessible way. Yeah. You know, um, Jazz, would you pray for us? Yes, I would love to. Um, dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you um, for this time spent together. We thank you for all of your daughters watching right now. Um, Lord, we just pray that we would begin to value um, our relationships with you again, Lord. We pray that um, your spirit would just give us the hunger and the thirst to open your word again. Help us to find delight in your word. Help us to find that childlike wonder. Um, maybe for some of us, when we first opened our Bible, there was so much love and now um, we struggle to open it. So Lord, just give us that childlike wonder again. Uh, we pray that it would just feel less like a chore and more like a delight. Um, we pray that we would learn to be honest with you, um, to fully open our hearts, to tell you our feelings, tell you our thoughts, um, and trust that we can leave them at your feet, Lord. Um, we thank you for this and many blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jasmine. That thank was you a really happy me. Yeah. Okay, friends, we're so thankful that you joined us today. Uh, it just seems it's just so special to read the comments right below here and just see you guys encouraging one another and praying for each other. That is all we really want from yeah. these morning shows. We will be back on Facebook live again on August 11th and at 11 AM Eastern time. And we'll be discussing how to share your faith when you feel uncertain, unprepared and uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. We would love for you to tune back in if you want to keep updated with the morning show make sure you join the proverbs 31 morning show facebook group and we will see you next time bye, bye.